Hi. Okay, now, my next two guests I've had to keep separate. I've had to do that. I've got Ryan Barrett in one corner, and I've got Mark Alexander in another corner. They fight each other at your call again. That's a great old venue. Saturday week, I believe that's about the 11th of September. Now, these two, well, they don't like each other. That's a massive understatement. In fact, they particularly dislike each other. Now, they've not got unbeaten records. They're not stars that have got great sponsors, but they've got something. They've got rivalry, and in any sport, that's essential. And in boxing, well, you can't have a good night of boxing without genuine rivalry. So I promised the two of them I'd get them on the show, and I have got them on the show. I've got one in the red corner. I've got one in the blue corner. Ryan Barrett's in one corner. Mark Alexander's in another corner. I grabbed hold of the pair of them a little bit earlier. You don't have to watch this because I told the pair of them I don't want any blinking swearing on my boxing show. Ding, ding. Coming out of the red phone corner first is Ryan. Ryan, good, good evening to you. Uh, hello, how are you? All right? Yes, I'm Ryan. I'm absolutely fine. Now, you know, it's often said that some of these fights, these small hall fights, are better. And in this occasion, this, the potential here is a bit special because let's not mince around. You, you and Mark, there's not a lot of love for each other, is there? No. No, no. We don't like me and I certainly don't like him. And where's it come from? Where does all this hate come from, Ryan? Um, well, originally, probably, uh, me and Mark used to get on all right until, obviously, he opened his big mouth on your show last time. <sighs> Well, well that, that, you know, on that point, I'm going to have to I'll tell you to sit back down on your stool and ding, ding, coming out of the balloon corner, I'm going to have to introduce Mark. Mark, you opened yeah. your big mouth on my show last time. Is that right? Well, I didn't even open my big mouth, but I'm going to now. But, um, <laughs> no, what I did is I just called him out. You know, I just thought it was a good, good chance now to have a fight. Yeah. Now with somebody. Looks at the ranking, see him in there, he's been about. So I thought, yeah, let me just challenge Ryan Barrett. It's a normal thing what boxers do, so um, he's taking that person, but he shouldn't really take it personal, well, really, he, you know. He may, he may have been taking it personal, but, uh, you, know, uh, you, know, you know, Mark, you've been around the block a bit, Ryan's yep. been around the block a bit, yep. and there's nothing like a little bit of a needle in there, is there? Not, I like a little bit of needle in there, to be honest with you. Had the two of you sparred, or when was the last time you did spar? No, we didn't spar. No, we never sparred. My never life. sparred. No, I can't remember. Not in, my, not in this world. Of mine, no. All right. So, look, well, Mark, you, Mark, you sit yourself back down on the stool. Ding, ding. Coming out of the red corner telephone. It's going to be. Uh, he's going to wander straight out again. Ryan apparently didn't open his mouth. You've just taken it the wrong way. Well, he was the one who come out and said that, that um, I was offered to fight and I refused it. Or... That is fighting talk. That is fighting yeah. talk. Exactly. And um, I had no. Um, into about a week before the um, Steve Goodwin's junior show. That was the only time they offered it to me. Yeah. For silly money. And I said to him, I didn't really want to go backwards in my career and fight clowns like Mark Alexander. Ooh, now, now, that's fight. Now, you're going to have to sit yourself down, Ryan, because that is proper old school fighting talk. You sit down, Ryan. Mark, what? you're going to have to, you're going to have to put your gum shield in and come out. Now, that, that, it's, it's getting a bit personal here. Yeah? I'm getting close to having to throw the towel in myself. <laughs> he, he thinks it's a backward step, or he suggested it's a backward step. Well, it's not, well, I hope you're at the fight. You're going to be at the fight, aren't you? Yeah, I'm hopefully I'm coming down on that oh, set. If course, I can get a but, ticket, they sell, all, all the same Goodwin shows sell out. Well, good, I know they all sell out, but I've got a special seat for you anyway. <laughs> so, um, and in that seat will be a pillow. <laughs> and <laughs> what happens, when I hit Brian Barrett and he drops, you throw the pillow in. All right. Yes, and he will bounce off the... He'll bounce off it. Right? No. He'll bounce off it. it so, um... You know, so you definitely come to the fight anyway. Okay, now, one thing that I'll talk to the pair of you now, then I'll get you on again at the end. The one thing that slightly alarms me here is that, um, that uh, even though we, I'm trying to make this a little bit jokey, I know the pair of you, you know, you are quite genuinely at each other's throats. Now, the one thing is, I think the winner of this fight is the guy that puts all the personal stuff behind. And, and Mark, are you capable of that? You, 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 won't, you won't lose your head on the night, will you, Mark? Nah, nah. Why do you think I'll do that now? No. Well, because it like, gets at personal. The end of the day, you know, you got to look at it. At the end of the day, look, I'm in boxing, I haven't had my chance. You know how boxing yeah, is for you years. Had a, you've had yeah, a rough I've been right. waiting for my chance. Yeah, yeah, Ryan's had his chance and everything. A lot of boxers in the game have had their chance. I ain't, and the boxing's not about how good you are, it's who you know and everything. So I'm getting my chance now, I'm going to take it. Well, you, so, sit, you, know. you sit yourself down. Ryan, we'll get, we'll get you up now, come out of the red corner, ding, ding. Ryan, um... What about you? I mean, you've been in with, you know, you've been in with bigger names. You've been in with, you know, Willie Lemon, John Simpson, and Mia, you know, decent, you know, and you put up decent performances against the three of those big, you know, big names. Do you think that mentally you might have the edge because of where you've been? Oh, uh, yeah, without a doubt. I'd say I've been scheduled for 10, 8, 
12. Mm. Mark barely got himself out of first gear and got himself out of a four or six rounder. Um, and so my, I'm not going to buy my experience. It's just sure. that his best win is against a raw novice two batter, and my best wins are against English champions. Um, yeah, as you say, seasoned pros oh, at a good standard. All right, well, I tell you what, I'm going to give the pair of you about 10 seconds to sum it up. And I'm going to, because I started with you, Ryan, I'm going to let you go first. That means Mark will get the, the last word and the last say. Ryan, in 10 or 15 seconds, what do you think will happen when you meet at your call on Saturday night, the, the 11th of September, when you fight Mark, Mark Alexander for the vacant International Masters Lightweight title? Tell me what will happen, Ryan. Um, I would imagine Mark will come out like he did against Brody, uh, put all his eggs in one basket for two or three rounds, and then run, realise he's run out of ideas, and then he will run like a little girl. There you go. That is fighting talk indeed. Ryan, good luck next week. Control yourself, and we'll say good night to you. And Mark, you know the rules. You've got 15 seconds. Don't talk about anything that's gone on. Just tell me what's going to happen on, on the night knockout. of the 11th of the night. Straight knockout. Go Straight on. knockout. Listen, he's not, a long way goal is the worst it is for him. Oh. You know, so, you know, I'm going to be ready for the 12 rounds or what, 10 rounds it is, whatever, but it's a straight knockout. Right, listen, it's, it's been... Top knockout. Mark, top knockout to, Mark, you've got the 18 seconds. I'm going to have to stop you there. That's You've had three seconds more than I was allowed. Mark Alexander and Ryan Barrett, thanks very much. Keep it clean on the night. Have a good fight, and let's hope, let's hope the two of you sort something out in the ring. And you know what? Let's have a second fight and a third fight. That fight, by the way, is at York Hall, Bethnal Green, for the vacant International Masters lightweight title. Tickets are available. They'll probably only be about 25 30 quid but it will be a sellout because steve goodwin the promoter sells the place out that's ryan barrett there and mark alexander swapping insults and flexing their verbal and their physical muscles just before their big fight on steve godwin's show at york now i